what is going on guys what is going on welcome back to another video now this is my prediction for wwe nst battleground 2023 now before we get into the video i do need for you guys to hit the like button comment subscribe and hit that bell for post notification because i will be posting a lot of content for you guys this week as we are heading towards battleground we're heading towards AEW double or nothing we're heading towards class of champions i mean night of champions so uh we got a lot to talk about we got the new nst women's championship um, will be crowned at the show in a tournament final, a rematch for the NST champion between Camilla Hayes and Braun Breakers also set for the show. We got Norm Dawn versus Dragon Lee. We have a last man standing match, Dodgy versus Eli Dragovia. We have an NST tag team champions on the line, an NST North America champion on the line. And we got so much to talk about. Now, this will be happening, I believe, on a Sunday, May 28, 2023. So... I only got one question for you guys. Now, this is the sixth event in the Battleground series, but the first one under the NST banner. It is also the first Battleground event that takes place since 2017. So, I only got one question for you guys. What do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> All right, the first match we want to talk about is... We got Camilla Hay as the current NST championship. We be going against Braun Breaker for the NST championship at NST Battlegrounds. Um, okay, so basically Camilla Hayes, he won the NST championship at NST Standard Delivery, which I thought was the stupidest way for Camilla Hayes to win. But um, eventually, Braun Breaker came in to congrats uh, Camilla Hayes for his win on the NST episode of April 4th. But later, he turned it heel and then attacked it, Camilla Hayes and Trip Williams. He ch uh, Camilla Hayes challenged Braun Breaker for a rematch at Battleground after he retained the title over Grayson Waller at NST Spring Break In. Now... Breaker answered this by hitting a spear on Hayes to take him through a board. Trip really challenged Breaker for a match, but eventually he got squashed. Um, Breaker caught Hayes mid-air with a spear and claimed that he will win the NST title back at Battleground. Now, for me personally, the reason why I wanted to talk about this first is because I wanted to get a couple of this out of my chest. Now, I get that they wanted to turn uh, Braun Breaker here since he was kind of getting a little stale as a baby face. But I still wanted Camilla Hay as a heel. I mean, they could at least put him as a tweener, you know, as a heel in a face. But it seems like he's all the way full baby face. Now, I don't know why Braun Breaker didn't see that he got cheated. To this day, he still hasn't mentioned that he got cheated at that match in standard delivery. I mean, we all know Trip Woods came in there and hit the men with the championship. With that being said, I have Camilla Hayes retaining the NST championship because when he shoots, he just doesn't miss. The second match I want to talk about is Norm Dorr versus Dragon Lee. And this is a British Ram Ruiz match for the NST Heritage Cup. Now, this is after Norm Dorr has made his NST return with the Heritage Cup. Dragon Lee starts targeting a match for the championship. Um, eventually, he got it. Um, and we we just going to have to see how this goes. I really don't have nothing to say about this. I do have Dragon Lee eventually winning this championship just to reward him with something. Um, I haven't seen Norn Dorr in a long time. So, um, all I know is this would be a banger for the people at the crowd to watch this. So, um, it really doesn't matter to me who will win. But I do think they're going to give the Heritage Cup to Dragon Lee. But that would kind of be wrong since Norm Dorn did win it. Um, I don't know if he won the fair and square or not. But whatever the case may be, it should be a good match. 
We got the NST Championship. We got Gallus versus the Creed Brothers. Now, you guys know how I feel about the Creed Brothers. I know they're trying. I know, I know, I know. I should give them a break, right? The Creed Brothers were part of the Fatty Four Way Tag Team match at the stand of delivery, but Gallus has retained the Tag Team titles. They were once again part of a three way Tag Team match along with the the Y, but Gallus pinned Julius Creed to retain the title once again. The Creed Brothers stopped the schemes from interference in the Tag Team title match. Later, they defeated the scheme in the Tag Team match themselves, then changed. Challenged Gallus, Gallus for another title shots at the at Battleground. Now I don't know if they're going to eventually give Creed Brothers the tag team titles. Hopefully that's not the case because I feel like the schemes deserve it way more. The Grizzly Young Veterans deserve those titles way more than you know uh, the Creed Brothers. But it should be a good match regardless. But the Creed Brothers is just not doing it for me. I'm sorry, but they just not doing it for me. <laughs> um, but I got Gallus retaining the NST Tag Team Championships. Let me know down below who you guys are rooting for. Okay, we have Dajif Cover versus Elias Dragovir. After weeks of promo against each other in backstage brawl, Elias has defeated Dodger via DQ in a match at the May 9th episode of NST. After more taunting, Dragonville went through Dodger's lair on May 16th episode where he asked the Dodger to inflict as much as pain as possible. However, Elias refused to, I mean, he refused to relent despite all the torture. The next day, WWE has announced that Dodgeff and Dragonville will clash in a last man standing match. Now, honestly, I don't know where they going with this. I mean, none of these men can lose, right? So who win, who lose? So I actually eventually will have uh, Eli Dragovia will be winning this match. I just hate to see Dodgers keep constantly losing. So I don't know what's next, but I know for a fact that this will be a good hard-hitting match. Let me know who you guys are rooting for. We got Wesley, the current North America champion, versus Tyler Bate versus Joe Gates in a North America championship match. Please get the North America championship off of Wesley. I'm sorry. But this man is so boring. He doesn't have a gimmick. There's no story to be told. He's the longest reigning North American champion for nothing. For nothing. <laughs> okay, let's talk about how all this started. Please. Charlie Denson and Drew Gallup started a rivalry with Wesley over the North American Championship. Wesley successfully retained his title against them with Tyler Bate blocking interference from Dempson during Lee's title defense against Drew Gallup. Tyler and Lee was booted for a tag team match against Gallup and Dempson one NST episode, but Drew Gallup and Dempson attacked it, the duo backstage, leaving Tyler Bate injured. Wesley then went to the ring to address the attack from uh, Charlie and Drew Gallagher only for Joe Gacy to interrupt him and claim that Bate was not his real friend and he had and he had eyes on the title. Bate, Tyler Bates comes out and claimed that although he wanted a title shot, he was indeed still a friend to Wes Lee. Wes Lee felt betrayed by Tyler Bates and announced that he would defend the title against both Tyler Bates and Joe Gacy at Battleground, putting himself in another, I mean, another triple threat match. It's like he wants to lose that championship just so he can start complaining or he just teasing us making it seem like he's going to lose but in reality he's not going to lose that north america championship but i got joe gacy taking that champion i really do think joe gacy winning that championship who you guys got tyler bait 
Now, the match we all waiting for. <laughs> the tournament final for the NST Women's Championship. We got Taya Bakery versus Tiffany Stratton. Stratton. Indian Hardware won the NST Women's Championship at the standard delivery event. Uh, wrong. She was drafted to Raw at the WWE. She was drafted to Raw. On the next episode of NST, Indian Hardware announced that she is dropping the title due to the move to Monday Night Raw and a tournament will take place to crown the new title. The final of this tournament will take place at NST Battleground. Now, technically, she didn't finish the title because of the move to Monday Night Raw. She was injured and had no other choice. Anyways, back to what I was saying. So, the tournament bracket is as it follows. Tiffany Stratus, round one, she defeated Gigi Dollar. Live Valkyrie, defeated Keanu James, and I meant Live Valkyrie instead of Ty Valkyrie. Corey J, defeated Paula Henley. Roxanne Perez, defeated J.C. James, which was a good match, by the way. The semis finals, Live Valkyrie, defeated Corey J, which was a sloppy match. Tiffany Stratus, defeated Roxanne Perez. So that means we get, as you can see in the picture above, we got Live Valkyrie versus Tiffany Stratus for the NST Women's Championship. Now, you guys know I'm a huge fan of Tiffany Stratus. Now, don't get me wrong. Live Valkyrie, she is just as good as well. But I think this is Tiffany Stratus' time to, you know, go ahead and do what she got to do and win. Now, I really do think this is her time. Uh, other than everything else I just went over, um, yeah, I have uh, Tiffany Stratus uh, went retaining, I mean, becoming a new NST Women's Championship. Now, I ain't going to lie, this is actually the only match I'm really looking forward to. Obviously, I will be checking in on a Camilla Hayes match. But other than that, NST uh, Battleground isn't really interesting at all, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about NST Battleground this coming Sunday. Do you, is you going to watch it or is you going to watch Double or Nothing? Be sure to hit that like button comment subscribe hit the bell for post notification and be on the lookout for my uh night of champions prediction video as well as i will be uploading that around 1 p.m central time or maybe 5 p.m central time thanks for watching until next time we'll see you guys in the next video thanks